the boat right there. Mr. Tim Boyer, owner of Pure Water Sports. My friend Mikey Ponce here. He's the one that set up this trip down to San Clemente Island on the Islander. So you do this for a living pretty much, right? Yep. This you is set up our trips? year seven. Year seven. Year seven of setting up trips. And this is the mothership trip going on a kayak. We're taking kayaks. You can see right behind us here. These kayaks are going on a charter boat. And then we're going out to San Clemente Island. Yep. So you know how you've heard that, that phrase where people say, you gotta get that little taste. That yeah. Little taste. This is the taste of getting offshore on a kayak. So if you haven't done it, if you haven't really had that exposure, this is the way to do what, What's to the expectation? The expectation is to get into good halibut fishing, good yellowtail, good um, sand bass, some good calico bite, or actually a really good calico bite. And it's just really good exposure to offshore fishing, but still cali like still, still very much coastal, still yeah. very shallow. And it's easy. Super easy. Yeah. And with the swim back on the Islander, it is as easy to get in and out of the water as it can possibly be. Yeah, it's so easy, guys. You just come here with your kayak. You bring some pet. You bring a, your bedding. You know, bring a, a blanket, two pillows or pillow, rods, reels. They got the bait. Um, you just got to come on the boat. I'm not going with. I'm not going to fish any bait. I'm just fishing strictly what we rep, and that's going to be what we do. So check out the video. Mikey Ponds here, Fish Village. Check them out for more trips and other trips out there. You're going to want to go on one. So boys, we're taking out taking out the MMFC secret rods today for the weekend. Wow. Right? Built on a tack, tack, was it tack 80? Uncut tack 80. Uncut tack 80. Eight foot four. Sick grip with the gimbal, rubber gimbal. Got Alexa 400 on there, huh? Yours has got a Tranks 500. Yeah, Tranks 500 on but we, we just hacked away at Cal's, Cal's, Cal's deal seven. deal. Yeah, hey man, nothing but the best. <laughs> but it's the uh, same secret quality you're used to, but we got the uh, MMFC logo put on there. Oh, right there, right there. So, it's a very nice rod. Yeah, that's cool. So it's gonna be like, it's gonna be my workhorse for the weekend. Uh, throw irons on it. So it's gonna be fun. What's your goal? Uh, yellowtail and a halibut. Ooh, but like how big of a halibut? Dude, they say they're catching 40 inch halibuts. When did they say that? In the in the report. Oh wow. So it's that's. that's did you bring a bait tank? Yeah, yeah. So you're going full bait tank yeah, and everything. Full, yeah. That's gonna be sick, dude. I'll have the I'll have the this rod for the iron. Uh -huh. Something happened in the surface, and then I'll just use a uh, uh, what's it called the uh, drop shot for like a halibut. Or are you are you filming to also go on YouTube this time? Yeah. So yeah. where would, where can people yeah. watch that? Uh, Roman Castro uh, YouTube channel. You can go, you can get there by going to romancastro.com forward slash yt. Sweet. We'll see you there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. When you're going on your own mothership trip aboard the Islander, you're gonna need to know a few things, especially when it comes to equipment. And what you see behind me is the kayak I used during this trip. It's the Compass by Hobie. One thing you need to note right off the bat is that you're not gonna be able to bring any oversized kayaks like a Pro Angler, maybe even a Titan. You're gonna to wanna to stick to the smaller boats, the smaller kayaks like this, a Compass, an Outback, Revolution, something like that, an I-11. Um, they're not gonna be able to put those bigger kayaks on because they're just too heavy, especially for the crew loading them on and off the swim step becomes a really big burden. So they're gonna tell you right away that you're gonna need a smaller kayak like this. Uh, you're gonna need to bring a paddle with you just in case your Mirage Drive has a failure. Uh, it's not often that you have that. You're gonna wanna bring some extra parts. So this trip, I actually had to switch out my fins because they came off and you need to make sure you have another spare parts, uh, especially something like a Mirage Drive fin you want to have one, at least one of those. So bring a Mirage, a spare Mirage drive fin with you or two and make sure you have them on there. Uh, mark all of your products that come aboard or come on your Hobie with some kind of tape or identification to make sure that it's yours. You want to make sure amongst all the spread of equipment that you can identify your particular product that you have associated with your kayak because it does get mixed up quite a bit. And then you see back here, I have a crate I didn't fish any bait this trip, but you just certainly can. They bring up a bunch of sardines with them. And you wanna make sure you have a live bait tank if you fish it, certainly is a great option, you'll know, catch more fish. Live bait's gonna catch them, uh, whether it's calico or yellowtail or barracuda or bonita, it's gonna catch everything out there or halibut. Uh, live bait tank's a great option, it comes with multiple rod holders, but add a few more. As you can see here, I have three rods and reels. Um, I also have a gaff too and a camera boom stick, so there's a lot of space that I need to have covered in, on my crate. And uh, speaking of rods, when you come 
on this trip, you're going to have so much opportunity to cast that fish and you're going to have a lot of opportunity to fish bottom. Come with a spread. Come with a lot of rods, including a live bait stick, a surface iron rod, and a slow pitch rod, jigging rod, an A-rig rod. Bring something you're comfortable fishing. Don't bring too much. Bring a focused group of, of lures that you believe in and you'll fish them more, you'll fish it harder, and you catch more fish doing it. It also saves you a lot of effort and weight in bringing all your stuff instead of having just a focused group of product you're gonna look at, look at fishing. So majority of the trip, you saw me fishing the surface iron. We were using a Kicker 25 light. This is the double mint color. Scrambled egg was also a good one. Um, color, you know, we put an article up on fishingreps.com. You can read about it. Find out more about what you should bring as confidence for you and, and basically fish it more. I was fishing this 90% of the time. I threw an A-rig. I threw some other things like that, slow pitch jig, but this is really where the sauce is. 25 light and also the 20, the kicker 15 light. Um, I used, uh, this is a lighter seeker SSR, something like that it was going to be great for, you know, fishing kayaks and especially around the island. You don't need to come with big gear. Coming with some lighter gear is going to be great. You're a, you are on a kayak and you're going to get pulled around quite a bit. So, um, it's fair game to use something like this, a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, an Alexa 400 TW. The next setup you're going to want to bring and think about is a calico rod. Um, you're going to want to bring something that has like a 300 size reel and also has a uh, rod that's about eight feet set up for maybe an Alabama rig. So anything from like two to five ounce rating, um, 15 to 40, it gets you, uh, it gets you there and doing a lot of different kinds of fishing, including plastics, uh, which we did a lot of at inside the, the rocks there, um, with a neck breaker and also the a rig. So this covers you in a lot of different bases. And finally, a slow pitch jigging rod is an excellent choice. I uh, didn't fish it too much this trip. Uh, found most of the fish up on top. But if you have one of these, you're going to be prepared for calicos, halibut, barracuda, white sea bass potentially, I mean, you know, sometimes yellowtail, um, but rockfish as well. So great opportunity to bring out this and have a variety. We caught uh, one of the anglers, Young, from the MMF MMFC, Mad Max Fishing Club. He was out there fishing the slow pitch and absolutely just wiping, cleaning up with it, man. It was... It was killer to watch him work it and getting them. You're also going to need to bring a radio. Radios are killer out there because you need to get contact the other anglers and obviously the boat. They're going to need to be able to contact you and tell you where and where not to go. And obviously some fishing conditions and where they're moving. So bring a radio. A life jacket is a must. We use the inflatable version. It's a little thinner, lighter. It's easier to fish all day. Camera equipment, we have a GoPro, two GoPros actually, bring some cameras because you never know what you're going to be out there seeing and you want to make sure you capture it. Plug island fishing and uh, island sport fishing and make sure that they also get their fair share of love from you guys capturing that footage. One of the things that I want to stress to you guys is the importance of bringing a focused group of product. This was the Alabama rig I was using. It's by Warbaits. Also has the kicker pickle kicks on here and the neck breakers to make sure that you get it down towards the bottom. And it's also weedless so it gets to the kelp. Um, bring, bring a set of these uh, with a couple of different head sizes and also different colors baits. And um, make sure you just focus around a certain size, a certain depth you're ideally going to fish and execute. Don't bring too much product. It's really important that you don't bring four boxes of irons. Bring one box of irons, a couple colors that you like. It's really important that you don't bring too much because the, the amount of space on this boat with all the kayaks, all the seats, everything else, tackle, it's pretty limited. So you gotta make sure that you bring a very focused amount of product. Warbaits, kicker, product combination right here, the A-Rig is a great setup. Very, very good for everything you're gonna be doing out there, especially calico bass. Surface iron fishing is going to be really fun out there at the islands. You're definitely going to want to focus in on bringing some of that. We use the Kicker 25 light and the 15 light. Perfect size jigs for the islands. Scrambled egg, bunker, double mint color, enlightened mint, all those different blue and whites, all those different traditional colors are going to get a really good bite out there. Um, bring an eight foot to nine foot rod and your favorite casting reel. Check it out. Kicker jigs. Another very important reminder is that you're going to want to bring some cash with you. 
It's very important that you bring cash to be able to pay for food, waters, beers, other things that are the amenities that are going to be here as well as a fuel surcharge and a tip. Make sure you bring about 10% for the tip of what you paid for the trip, if not more. If you feel like the service was really great, the food's really great, go ahead and reward these guys. They work hard. They're lifting your kayaks and they're taking care of you. They're putting bait on your boat. They're feeding you. It's a great way to make sure that you serve them as much as they've served you and it rewards them for their hard, hard work. When you come on these trips, you also want to make sure you're bringing your bedding, which is about twin to queen size blankets and one pillow. And also all your amenities you normally have for brushing your teeth, taking a shower, things like that, because they do have a head here and it has a shower in it and you actually two of them. You want to make sure you get cleaned up before you steak dinner. It's a really nice feeling after your nice salty fishy day. Well, that's it guys. If you're interested in going on your own Islander mothership trip, check out fishvillage.com. It's a great way to get contact with Mike Ponce over there and he's going to get you assigned and being able to go on one of these trips. They run about seven a year, maybe more in the future. So check it out and also make sure you like and subscribe our page. We want to make sure we grow the channel, show your support if you appreciate the video and also love our other content from the other trip. Man, we had some great stuff. Please show your support. We appreciate it. And also use the products Kicker, Warbaits, Submission Fishing Company, and Bixby. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a good one out there.